The 2023 general elections has come and gone, but reactions have followed the outcome, especially the 25 February presidential election, which produced the president-elect Bola Tinubu as Nigeria's next uh, leader. To this end, stakeholder Democratic Network SDN, Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, and civil society in River State organized a roundtable discussion to review the outcome of the election exercise in the state. Participants at the SDN election review meeting said despite the efforts of stakeholders to ensure a credible election, widespread reports indicate that the election process had extensive challenges and irregularities. My position is that the voters' register should be cleaned up because it is not a true reflection of the number of voters that we have in Nigeria. Um, a number of those uh, voters on the register are dead, and we are still counting as our number, of, total number of registered voters. A number of them are not in Nigeria as we speak. And of course, I'm one of those that interrogate the level of voter turnout. Um, I think it, it is supposed to be a function of the number of um, PPCs collected not the number of, um, uh, not total number of registered voters. It is important for us to understand that as leaders and as citizens in our society, we must subject ourselves to scrutiny. Because if we fail to subject ourselves to such scrutiny, then democracy will always have its own issues. The whole idea behind scrutinizing processes and ways we do things actually brings out the best of our society. When we talk about why we have why people are so frustrated about the last election, truth is, this is not the first failure. The failure has been, and we're at a point in Nigeria where we cannot get it wrong anymore. We're at that point where we need a breakthrough. And that is why the frustration now is is higher more than ever. And when it comes through and it's not done right, we have another four years to go through what we have been going through. We're literally clawing at every opportunity to find air to breathe at this point. And we depended on the INEC to help us find that little hole to get a little air to breathe as Nigerians. We didn't get that. Public Affairs Officer of the Independent National Electoral Commission in River State, Geraldine Ekelumo, said election in the country is multi-stakeholders event and its need for every sector to be patriotic to have successful elections in the country. Geraldine Y highlighted some of the lessons learned during the elections, urged Nigerians to hold elected political office holders accountable for full legislative implementation of electronic voting system in future elections. We have taken note of the places where we made our mistakes. But there were issues of network down, downtime that day. It is not INEC that controls that. There were issues of violence and ballot snatching and all that. And security issues. It is not INEC also that are directly involved with that, we got ad hoc staff from institutions where their identity are not in doubt and all to participate. And we also found out that most of them compromise the system. Electronic voting is a legislative matter. So that's why I said, hold the people who are representing you now accountable. Let them sponsor this bill. But also ask yourself, is Nigeria ready for electronic voting? Just to upload results, we saw the challenges. What is also the guarantee? That on that day, there is a portal created for you to vote. And you're trying to log in with your own phone in your house. And something goes wrong. So are we ready? The people who control, who are the network providers, are we ready? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.